Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm gonna be talking about what's in my carry-on. And I'm gonna be showing you my carry-on bag and the things that I put in my carry-on. And as you all know, I'm fixing to go to the Mexican Riviera at the end of October. 2019 for those of you who might have seen this after I've cruised but I'm doing a little series here for this Mexican Riviera cruise because I am traveling solo and I have really pared down what I'm taking on this trip you guys for me I am not a minimalist I've said that a five hundred thousand times I'm not I don't claim to be I don't want to be but that does not mean that I want to be schlepping 500 bags through the airport and uh, taking way more than I need. So I, this time I, I do have a Ted Baker roll uh, carry-on that I took with me on my last trip that was absolutely lovely and I really enjoyed it. But it rolls it's something i have to pull behind me and my spinner bag here that's why i have this sitting here my spinner bag it is a spinner and yes i can pull it but to get it organized and pull it it keeps wanting to slide you know keeps wanting to roll so it's hard for me to maneuver that with one arm and the ted baker bag it, it was just it would be like tapping my head and rubbing my tummy i was just not going to work so i decided instead that I would take my Vera Bradley campus tech campus backpack now this is it this is what I'm taking and it has a sleeve on the back that I can slide down over the telescoping arm and I can push the suitcase and the bag all at one time once I pick my suitcase up so I'm not going to be struggling with it once you know after I pick my suitcase up or before I drop it off for that matter. Me to, Chris will be taking me to the airport, so he'll drop me right off at the door, but I still have to roll it in and get it to the, the check-in agent, you know? So I'm really trying to make this easier for myself. And that goes along with my carry-on too. Now I am gonna be taking my computer because I have promised that I'm gonna try to vlog VLOG on this trip a little bit. Uh, that is if I can get my videos to load. Um, there's no guarantee. I do have a better internet on the Royal Princess, but I'm not positive. I'm also going to be cruising with two other ladies. And, uh, you know, once I'm back in my stateroom, I'll have fun, you know, editing some videos and loading them up, hopefully. You know, and, and giving you guys some entertainment while I'm gone, too. So that is, if I'm not having too much fun with my lady friends, uh, Barbara and Pat, and, uh, you know, I'll just have to play that by ear, and hopefully we'll be able to, you know, bring you guys something while I'm gone. But regardless, I wanted to go through this bag and show you what's what with this bag. It is a lovely lovely backpack this uh pattern is called super blooms i believe it is a retired pattern i purchased this from the uh vera bradley online outlet store and i did not pay much for this at all the online outlet becomes available probably three or four times a year if not more and it's usually open for about four days and they have a lot of their retired patterns or fix and to retire patterns on there for already on sale prices. And then when you go to checkout, you get another 30% off of that price and then you get free shipping and you can go come and go out of that sale and make as many orders as you want. It can be a little order. It can be a large order and you will never pay shipping on it. So it is a lovely, lovely little thing. Keep an eye on my community post that I will, you know, put a link to it when it does come open again. And it's not currently open. You may be able to find this bag. Again, it's a campus uh, tech backpack. Uh, if I can find it on eBay, I might link it below. So do check the description. But anyway, the reason it's called a tech backpack and the reason I really like this backpack as opposed to my black and white one is for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know I also have a black and white beautiful Midnight Paisley uh, backpack too, but it does not have a tech sleeve in it. In other words, I have to take a, an extra case to put my computer in 
for that bag. This, I don't have to worry. This is padded, and this, this pocket is specifically designed for my laptop, for a 15-inch laptop. You could probably get a 17-inch in here, too. You might want to do some measuring, but you might be able to if you have a bigger laptop. I have a 15-inch MacBook Pro, and it fits beautifully in here. And I don't, and it's snugged right up against my back when I'm carrying this, so it keeps it well protected. So that's what the back zipper is. It's just for my laptop, and I don't have to take an extra, you know, case to put my laptop in and then put the case, my laptop case, in the backpack. It's like an extra step and an extra weight that I don't want to have to do or carry. So then, this also has a <clears throat> part of me large cavernous let me take some stuff out of here that I have in here and I'll show you everything though okay it also has a large cavernous space too and it has two like meshy pockets too they don't go all the way to the bottom of the bag they go to about three quarters of the way down I would say or right about to there on the bag no a little lower about about to there on the bag so and, but it's nice and big and you can fit a lot in there. Now, I'm not going to want to take a lot in there because I don't want it to be super duper heavy. If I pack this thing to the brim, it is going to be super duper heavy and I don't want it to be that. But anyway, and then I'll get back to what I put in there in just a second. It also has a front zipper compartment here. It's all the way around. And in here, you have a place for your ID if you want to put you know, like a little, uh, to do your, your license or whatever ID in here. Uh, what I'm going to be taking is just a, I didn't bring it in here, uh, a passport. I, I, it'll have my it'll passport and my global entry card in it. And I'll probably go ahead and put some money in there and a couple of credit cards. And I'll use that as my wallet. I really don't use a wallet on the ship. I may throw in a little crossbody bag to use uh, you know, when I'm on the ship or on an excursion, we're only taking one excursion. So I really don't think I'll need that. I can throw whatever I have in a pocket, but I'll probably take a little crossbody bag. But regardless of all that, I'm not going to have it on the plane. I'm not going to have the crossbody on the plane. So I'll use my, my passport book for that. A, a book that snaps shut. It's not just my passport book. It's a little, cont I don't have it out here. I would show it to you. But then we also have a front pocket to your phone whatever you can you can fit in that front pocket so you know it does not have like a little sleeve for your phone anywhere on it on the outside I guess you could put it in one of the side pockets it does have two side pockets that I actually put a luggage cruise luggage tag and then Scott gave me this <laughs> it's a princess luggage tag. I may put that on here. Uh, but that's it. This is a lovely bag. It is uh, washable. You can wash this in the washing machine, and it comes out beautifully. I don't put mine in the dryer. Now, I don't know whether other people do, but I do not dry my, uh, my Vera. I let it air dry. So, But that's just me but it holds its color, it's beautiful. It has two straps, nicely quilted, big, soft, smushy straps, back straps, and they are adjustable. You can adjust them. So it's an awesome bag, y'all. And isn't it pretty? It's just pretty and girly, it's so pretty. I love it. So there is my Campus Tech backpack that I will be taking. Now, let me talk about what I put in my backpack. Uh, first and foremost, I always take usually two of these folders on every cruise that I go on. One to carry with me for my flight information. I'm going to have to have get a shuttle from the airport this time. I have my shuttle information, my boarding pass to get on the ship. That is very important. Uh, uh, hotel information, um... Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, I'm going to have a couple of, uh, a copy of the travel insurance that I have through Princess. I get that through Princess all the time. I highly recommend everybody use travel insurance, though. And uh, 
But all of that information will go in this folder that I have labeled Mexican Riviera. And then I'll put another folder like this in my checked luggage and it will go with me to hold all of the princess patterns and any paperwork I want to hold on to that I get at, on the ship. A lot of that goes in, uh, you know, receptacle, what, 13 or whatever it is, what's the trash can? A lot of it goes in the trash, but I do keep hold of the princess patterns for every day and uh, so on to refer to it, to answer questions mostly in the cruising groups that I'm in on Facebook or to help me when I'm blogging or blogging. So they come in a pack of three. You, they come in all kinds of different colors, red, green, blue, purple, I think are the four colors they come with. And you can't choose your colors, unfortunately. But anyway, so you get uh, their pocket folders. There's one on the inside and then you have three, one, two, three. So two, four, six, seven so there are eight pocket folders eight pockets in here these are wonderful they hold together nice they're they're not paper they don't tear they're great i love them so and cheap i'm telling you they're cheap so i will give you a link in the description for these little folders if you are at all interested in one of these little folders or a couple for each each of your travels i mean you don't have to be a cruise you guys you can take them on to anywhere you know i took one to nashville as a matter of fact i took a trip to nashville to uh, be with my buddy danielle and i met d and and spent time with danielle and her mama linda there in nashville and i had one for my hotel and you know whatever else so so that is one thing that will be in my carry-on all my pertinent paperwork uh, that i like to carry with me at all times and i keep it on my phone too you guys but I do like to have it in paper form just in case for whatever reason my phone might die. You just never know, you know. I have it. Usually I have all my paperwork in three different places. I have it on my laptop, on my phone, and then I have it in paper form. And that's just a backup for a backup for a backup. And that's just the way I am. I'm very careful, you know. I don't need to be across the country or across the world and ha not have some pertinent information, not be able to access some pertinent information that I need to give to somebody. So there's that. Uh, I brought these out here. I normally don't take these anymore. These are my big ear earphones. I have another set and I forgot to bring them in here, but these are just a set of earphones. Most planes nowadays, uh, you know, you have a spot that you can plug in. You know, I don't want to take these big bulky ones, but these are super duper comfortable. You can be sure I'm going to be taking these when I'm flying to Australia. Yes, sir, Rebub. These don't hurt your ears. These are lovely. You can't hear your noise reducing. They're lovely. They are from Sony. I will give you a link in the description for these. These are lovely. But I don't want to take, I don't think I'll take these big ones. Because I have another pair of just kind of earbuds, you know. Uh, but I do take a set of earphones of some sort for the plane because you can plug in and watch their TV, you know, or listen to a book on tape off your phone or whatever. <laughs> That's another thing I take. <clears throat> it won't be this big, but I have one sitting here that I have my phone plugged into right now. I take an external battery like this. I have smaller ones, or Chris has smaller ones, that are rechargeable with a USB cable. But to keep my phone charged so I don't have to march across, you know, the trek to have to sit next to a stranger that just because I want to plug in my phone, I can just use this and plug it in wherever I'm sitting. As again, I have a smaller one. I don't take this big thing but I take, it's like half the size and weight that I take. Again, I'll put you a link in the description. Uh, but this is invaluable for me. I'm a techie, you know, I love to have my, my stuff with me. Uh, let's see, I take, uh, I had one of my subbies, bless her heart, make me some glasses cases. So where's my, I don't even know where my glasses are. Oh, here they are. So these fit, you know, my reading glasses are usually here or on my head. But if I want to go to sleep, put them away, then I usually put them in a, you know, in a little case. And I have another one for my sunglasses. So I always take my sunglasses. So I'll have my sunglasses when I get to wherever I'm going. Just in case it's sunny. And in California is where I'm going this time. I have a feeling it's going to be sunny when I get there. So I want my sunglasses, you know. So I take my reading glasses, a pair, and a pair of sunglasses for sure. Uh, this is uh, the same subby. He made me this beautiful little case, and this has got wet ones in it that she put in here. Uh, you know, fresh set wet ones, antibacterial, 
you know, just to keep you fresh and whatnot. And I usually take something like this, and this is what I plan on taking on the ship. And look at this lovely little case she made me. <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. So that usually goes in too. And I've been getting recognized in places, y'all, <laughs> sometimes. So, uh, especially on these ships, I've had a couple people come up and say, hey, Arlen, is that you? I'm like, yeah, it is. So, or I get to talking to people about my crafting and, and whatnot. So I take some of my business cards. <laughs> Boy, big deal, huh? But I take some of my business cards and I just, you know, have them stuck here in a little Vera coin, coin case, you know. So I take those. And then I take, uh, this is a double cosmetic bag. Again, I got all of this stuff from the outlet. I don't know that you can find these specific, this specific pattern, but you may be able to find them on eBay or even Amazon if you look on Amazon. But this is a double zip cosmetic bag, and this is where I take all my tech, you know, my, my computer charger and my phone charger and uh, an extra USB uh, little plug Chris got me this that that you just plug it into one of the you know to a plug and you can plug two USB ports in you know got that and uh, you know whatever else I need you know whatever other cords I need I keep in this double zip cosmetic bag and then I take an extra little cosmetic bag for like Advil and uh, I get migraines and I take Advil. Uh, I usually put some uh, Shout Wipe and Go in there. I'll throw a lipstick in here, a chapstick maybe. You know, just things I think I might need just for the plane ride. Uh, a lot of people will take uh, a cube of clothing. I'm not planning on doing that this time because I just don't wanna have the extra weight that I'm lugging through the airport. But there have been times when I have taken like an extra change of clothes, just in case you get delayed in the airport, a few cosmetics to do a little freshening, freshening up of your face, a little toothbrush, toothpaste, that kind of thing. You do that at your own discretion. Just be aware of uh, TSA restrictions and check those out on the TSA website. If I can think, I'll give you a link to that in the description too. Remember, you can't take liquids and no aerosols and liquids over three point whatever ounces and they have to be in a, a quart size Ziploc bag. So be aware of the rules. Just don't go in willy nilly carrying your full size cosmetics or something because they won't, they'll throw them away. They'll confiscate them. You will not be able to board the plane with them. So be aware of that, you guys, that's important. Another thing I take and I think I'll be able to use this. I'm going to be on the Royal Princess and uh, it is what's called a medallion ship. I'm not going to be getting a cruise card as I have had for the last 500 years I've been cruising. <laughs> last decade I've been cruising. But I am still going to take a lanyard because I think you could, oh, excuse me, oh, I think you can, uh, I have a little change purses. Barbara has suggested that we get little change purses to hang them on our lanyards. I do not have pockets. Oh, Probably my some of you watching here are going, I don't want to carry a lanyard. I don't want a lanyard hanging around my neck. What do I want a lanyard hanging around my neck for? Well, that's what I enjoy. I like having a lanyard. And this is the lanyard I like. And check it out. Again, I got this off of Amazon. And look, you can remove the little magnets <laughs> yeah okay remove the little magnets and replace them with all kinds of different ones again I'll give you links in the description but I have all these little buttons with all the different colors of the rainbow and different designs and you just poke that in the middle change it out each day and that way it'll match whatever you're wearing if I'm gonna wear a land you know I want it to be pretty you know so my dear friend Pat, who I'll be cruising with this time, gave me this beautiful guardian bell. And it also gets hung on my lanyard. I promised her when I got it that it would go on every lanyard for each subsequent cruise for the rest of my cruising uh, time. And it does. 
my steward always laughs at me and says, Miss Arlene, I can hear you coming. I know it's you, but my guardian bell. So I always have that. And then in the, on the last cruise, uh, Bonnie gave me a little flashlight. I don't want to, but it's, it's bright. Look at that little flashlight. You just push the button. So just in case, I don't know, you need it to see something on the plane, you'll have it, whatever. I keep these in my carry-on only because... I want access to this when I when I first get on the ship. I want some way I, on the ship when I first get on. I'm going to be given a medallion. Actually, I'll have it before I go. I will have my medallion before I go. It's supposed to be coming like October the 12th or something. I'm leaving the 25th. Uh, but I'll be able to get that. Figure out a way to get it hung on this lanyard, and that will negate me having to go through a bunch of registration and everything else. That's because it's a medallion ship. But I plan on trying to hang it on my lanyard so that I can have my lanyard around my neck. And the medallion, don't ask me about the medallion. I'm not sure how it works. I'll tell you all about it once I've cruised with it and I understand it better. But apparently, you can just walk up to your stateroom door and it opens for you. And you can be anywhere on the ship and find your, your you know, cruise mates and, uh, you know, go to and order a drink. And your <clears throat> bartender or whatever will be able to find you wherever you are located. Uh because you're just in with the whole network of the ship. So it should be interesting. But anyway, I take this little case, and this case is a, is a 31 uh, bag, a bag from 31, and it is a little uh, jewelry case. You know, I have two of those lanyards, just in case one breaks, so I have two. And so I take that in my carry-on so that I have access to it so I can put it right on when I get on the ship because you're not going to have your luggage right when you get on the ship. You will check <clears throat> when you do a, you drop your luggage off at the porters when you walk into the cruise port and they take it from you and deliver it to your room later. So you, whatever you have in your carry-on, you're going to want to have in your carry-on what you might need to have with you till about probably one o'clock. Usually we load or we go to the cruise port pretty early in the morning and then you're usually on the ship by noon or so. But the last two cruises I've taken, we have not been able to get into our stateroom until after one. So there is always a main dining room on Princess Ships open for lunch. You can go to passenger services, grab yourself a Princess Patter and see which dining room, main dining room is open for lunch. It's usually open from 11 to 1.30 or 12 to 1.30, something like that. So go catch yourself some lunch and wait for your stateroom to open, <laughs> be open and ready for you. So uh, the only other thing that I take is my Easy as Pie crossword puzzle book. Oh my goodness, I could do and have done harder crossword puzzles. But y'all, why do I want to tax my brain? I'm on vacation. I don't want to have to tax my brain doing crossword puzzles. And I love doing crossword puzzles crossword puzzles and I don't give myself time in my day to do them so I take an easiest pie crossword puzzle and it ha it's in like a spiral notebook and you know when you open like a crossword puzzle book you know and you have to like get the spine all like worked up and and, and folded over and whatnot you don't have to worry about that with this you can just Open it up, turn it, no matter which side you're working on, it's gonna be a nice flat surface. This is great. I got my dad, he loves these. I got my dad a bunch of these for Christmas. He sat at Thanksgiving and filled up a book of these pretty much <laughs> last year. So I need to remember to get him one for Thanksgiving so he has something to work to play with when he's here. <laughs> so easy as pie crosswords, super, super fun, not, not expensive at all, y'all, on Amazon, so. That's it. That is what is in my carry-on, y'all, or what will be in my carry-on. Again, it's not, my bag is not going to be super heavy and hard for me to handle. So, and it will slide right under the seat in front of me. I don't like to put it in the overhead. I like to have access to my bag where I'm sitting. And I am going to be sitting with a stranger, let's face it. And I don't want to bother him or her, you know. Uh, and I want to have my bag right with me at my, at my seat so I can, you know, slide it. On the floor in front of me i don't want it to be big and bulky i want it to be easily handled so that's it that's what i have in my carry-on oh all right you guys that's it for this one uh next up will be my packing tips and tricks i won't be doing any packing in that video but i will show you all of my packing aids and what i 
use to make my packing much more efficient, much, much, much more efficient. So for now though, let me go into some final words uh, and say, thank y'all so much for stopping in here, both from my Country Craft Corner and from Arlen's Travels. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for all of my subbies. Uh, from my Country Craft Corner, from Arlen's Travels, I so much appreciate you hitting that button and clicking that bell, y'all. I appreciate it so very much. Thank you so much. Uh, I try to get back to all my comments. Uh, sometimes I'm not able to. So on, on those occasions, please know that I've read your comment. I read every single comment. And when you see my heart show up, know that I've taken your comment, read it, and taken it straight to my heart. So I thank y'all. Thank y'all so much in advance if I cannot get back to you for whatever reason. Sometimes my days just get away from me, you guys, and I don't have time to just sit and, and, and respond. So, but no, I read everything and I appreciate every single one of you for all of your support, your kindness, and your love. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.